And for tonight and I, we continue our breaking news coverage of the wildfires burning on the front range. That's right. Three fires with voluntary and mandatory evacuations are still raging tonight. The Alexander Mountain, Stone Canyon and Quarry fires. So let's get right to the latest on the Alexander Mountain fire right now. We've learned that it has burned more than 9,000 acres and is only 5% contained as of tonight. The cause remains under investigation. And further south, the Stone Canyon fire burning near Lyon. Some good news here. More evacuation notices continue to be lifted. The fire has burned more than 1,500 acres. It is now 53% contained. And now let's go to Jefferson County where the quarry fire is still actively burning. Take a look here. Some new exclusive video up into Fox 31 of surveillance video capturing the beginning of that fire. There is now an arson investigation. We're going to get to that a little bit later, but this is the smallest fire in the area right now with 480 acres burned and only 10% containment. And we are learning that dozens of structures have been lost to these fires. And that includes at least 30 at the Alexander Mountain Fire near Loveland. Fox 31 Shell Turner has been on scene since this fire started earlier this week. She joins us live tonight with the latest update. Shell. Well, there was some rain up here today, but whether or not that affects the containment is something we're still waiting to find out. But I talked to the Larimer County Sheriff. The sheriff says we're making some grains in this, uh, gains in this firefight, and also it's a good thing that no further structures have been destroyed. But in his words, we're not out of the woods yet. These images from the Alexander Mountain fire over the past few days haunt Storm Mountain resident Phil Young. Grabbed our you know, important papers that we, that we had and a few other things. Young is living in a camper in Estes Park, evacuated from his home. He is from Louisiana. This is his first wildfire after dealing with hurricanes. The hurricanes, the winds and everything come through fairly quickly uh, or, and are over in a few hours. We still don't know at this point um, if the fire is coming toward our house. Fox 31 capturing hotshot crews arriving from Southern California as 389 firefighters continue to battle the flames amid the heat, dry conditions and lack of resources, but holding the line near the Cameron Peak burn scar, 2,414 mandatory evacuation orders and 2,588 voluntary orders have been issued, but some are being lifted. The areas around County Road 27 that were voluntary, we're lifting those restrictions and the areas around Carter Lake that were voluntary, we're lifting those evacuation restrictions. Governor Polis has requested assistance from the National Guard. The U.S. Forest Service and Larimer County now have stage two fire restrictions in place, meaning no open flames are allowed. Residents pulling together, supported by volunteers and the American Red Cross. They're providing us with with uh, free electricity here at the campground, water. Uh, we have not missed a meal. Yes, and of course, our, our hearts go out to all of the evacuees we've been speaking to all week. They're really hanging in there, and the American Red Cross and those donations make all the difference in the world. Now, damage assessment teams have gone in and taken a look at things. Tonight, they're notifying property owners who ha are dealing with the brunt of this fire right now. But we do have phone numbers at KDVR.com for the Office of Emergency Management to make sure your contact information is all uh, on record so you can learn more information as soon as possible. Possible. 100 animals are now in Greeley at Island Grove and we'll continue to follow what's happening tonight.